good afternoon how are you my dear students and my dear respectable viewers i hope all of you are very nice and happy and safe and sound by the grace of allah um, i have come here today uh, with this mission to talk about uh, and discuss about uh, grammatical points and you know and it very well then thank you all welcome to my class i hope you all are very much attentive and careful now so uh, during our previous class we have uh, discussed about uh, parts of speech and uh, you know parts of speech is a huge term and we have discussed already about noun but today i am going to discuss about uh, pronoun you know it is very very important parts of speech am i right so uh, today we are going to discuss about pronoun please be attentive and have patience and try to follow me <clears throat> pronoun pronoun my dear viewers uh, pronoun is a kind of parts of speech and uh, we have eight parts of speech in a sentence and pronoun is one of them and according to the work uh, we can think about it uh, nicely so look at it hasif hasif is a bright student hasif is a bright student now look at it hasif it is noun and subject of this sentence now you can easily understand that hasif is a noun hasif is a noun and uh, hasif is the subject of this sentence hasif is the subject of this sentence so my dear viewers <clears throat> now you can uh, easily understand that uh, we have already discussed about noun uh, before this class and uh, as uh, hasib is noun hasib works as the uh, subject and object it is object so if we use uh hasib in all the sentences as subject that will be very much boring and that will not be good at all so uh, we can think about it that we should uh, use a word which can be replaced and uh, the sentence will be very nice and that is he does everything he does everything in time so my dear viewers now you can easily understand it here uh, he pronoun and subject so now we can easily understand about it that uh, hasib is noun and is used as the subject of a sentence and he is used as the subject of the sentence and uh, he is the pronoun of hasib he is the pronoun of hasib okay uh, so now my dear viewers you can easily understand about it that a pronoun is a word a pronoun is a word which is used for noun a pronoun is a word which is used for noun so now you can easily understand it look at it again please he follows he follows the rules of health he follows the rules of health here he uh, it is pronoun and subject of this sentence so my dear viewers now you can easily understand about it that uh, it is subject uh, it is used as the subject of this sentence and uh, it is pronoun because it has been used uh, uh, for hasi so my dear viewers now you can easily understand about it so uh, uh, a pronoun is a word which is used for noun a pronoun is a word which is used for noun in a sentence so uh, according to the act activities and the kinds of pronoun we can divide it into eight classes and now we are going to discuss uh, all the classification of pronoun one after another the first one is a personal pronoun 
the first one is a personal pronoun one personal pronoun so my dear viewers now you can easily understand that what is person person indicates some people am i right person indicates uh, some people so in the same way the pronoun who is will indicate only persons we call it personal pronoun am i right look at it she works hard to create something new yes she uh, i have used here she to indicate a person i have used here she to indicate a person but i have not mentioned the name of that person am i right so it is pronoun and it is personal pronoun look at it here please uh, they are active people they are active people now they that means a lot of people they that means more than one people am i right so but i have not mentioned the names of those people am i right but uh, here they is used they is used uh, to indicate some people so they is a pronoun here and now you know it very well that uh, they is also used as the subject of the sentence so my dear viewers and uh, now we can easily understand that personal pronoun is a kind of pronoun which will indicate the person only which will indicate the person only yes the next one indefinite pronoun the next one indefinite pronoun yes okay look at it indefinite that means uh, that is not selected indefinite definite that means selected definite that means selected but indefinite that means uh, that is not selected so the pronouns uh, so the pronouns which will the pronouns which will indicate some indefinite things or uh, other things which are not selected are called indefinite pronoun look at it please someone is standing at the door someone is standing at the door someone but you don't know who is that person is that is uh, indefinite am i right so the person the pronoun which will identify or which will indicate some uh, indefinite persons place or thing uh, are called indefinite pronoun in this way someone somebody anyone anybody all of them are indefinite pronoun somebody somebody was crying somebody was crying last night somebody was crying last night somebody that's a person you don't know the name you don't know the person actually so that is someone or somebody and uh, this that uh, sorry uh, somebody someone anyone anybody all of them are called indefinite pronoun the next one is a demonstrative pronoun demonstrative demonstrative pronoun you know it very well what is demonstrate demonstrate means to explain something to uh, direct something to narrate something in a systematic way so demonstrative pronoun is a kind of pronoun which will indicate something or uh, some person some place or anything and we call it demonstrative pronoun look at it i want that pen so here that indicates the pen that indicates the pen pen is noun and that it is demonstrative pronoun 
this pen this pen is fine this pen is fine this pen so this that these those all are called demonstrative pronoun this that these those all are called demonstrative pronoun so my dear viewers now you can easily understand about it now you can easily understand about it now we have already discussed about three kinds of uh, pronoun and we are going to the next that is interrogative pronoun interrogative pronoun it's very interesting and easy also it's very interesting and easy also interrogative that means the pronouns which the pronouns which are used for interrogation the pronouns which are used for interrogation are called interrogative pronoun the pronouns which are used for interrogation are called interrogative pronoun look at it which pen do you want yes who is who who is what where all are called interrogative pronoun who who is what where all are called interrogative pronoun who who is what who who is what that whom whose who who is what whom whose all are called interrogative pronoun because all these pronouns are used for interrogation look at it please again whom do you want whom do you want who is walking who is walking on the way who is walking on the way whom do you want my dear viewers now you can easily understand about it that the pronouns which are used the pronouns which are used for interrogation are called interrogative pronoun are called interrogative pronoun so my dear viewers now we have already discussed about this kind of pronoun which is very much important and now we are going to mention the next one that is the relative pronoun <clears throat> relative pronoun you know relative that means uh, some someone has some relation something has some relation with the others am i right so the pronoun which take place after noun or pronoun in a sentence and make relation with the other words of that sentence is called a relative pronoun look at it please i know she have who is a bright student who look at it please when uh, that who will be used uh, in the beginning of a sentence and make a double sentence then it will be interrogative pronoun but when the same word will be used in the middle of the sentence and uh, it will take place after the noun or pronoun in a sentence and Uh, make relation with the other words of that sentence we call it a uh, relative pronoun that means it will work as the connectors of a sentence it will connect am i right so now we can say that uh, the interrogative pronoun will be used as the relative pronoun when they will take place after the noun or pronoun in a sentence and make relation with the other words am i right so now my dear viewers you can easily understand now you can easily understand that who who is what whom whose all of them are called all of them are called relative pronoun all of them are called relative pronoun because uh, they relate they relate 
uh, the noun or pronoun with the other words of that sentence easily and simply. Am I right? So, who, whom, whose, who, who is that, what, all of them are called dative pronoun because all of them take place after noun or pronoun in a sentence and make relation of the other words with the prefer noun or pronoun in a sentence. Am I right? Okay, thank you all. <coughs> My dear viewers, now you can easily understand that pronoun plays an important role in making a sentence very nicely as noun is used as the subject and object of a sentence uh, at the same time a pronoun will be uh, the same and pronoun is used for noun so the words of the pronoun in a sentence will be the same the next one is uh, distributive pronoun distributive pronoun it's nice what do you mean by distribute distribute that means divide distribute means divide so uh, the pronoun which will be used to divide from one to other from uh, one place to other place from one person to other from one thing to other uh, we call it distributive pronoun as uh, distribute that means verb uh, it indicates the division of anything distributive that is adjective a distributive pronoun that is noun okay so the pronoun who will who is will be used to distribute something some person or the others we call it distributive pronouns look at it this boy was given a reward is every is every any many all of them are called distributive pronoun because they indicate the division they indicate the division they are used to uh, separate a thing a person from the other so uh, they are called distributive pronoun and the next one is reflexive pronoun <coughs> reflexive pronoun reflexive pronoun the pronoun the pronoun which will be used to express the selfness or self of anything which will fresh the work of the person done by the pronoun which will create the emphatic situation of a person and which will create which will fresh the work of the person who does it we call it reflexive pronoun look at it he did it himself so look at it he has done something and uh, this word himself press the action of the person that means uh, the person who works is the sole authority to complete it to finish it am i right so uh, when the personal pronoun will take self or selves after it when the personal pronoun will take self or selves after it we call it reflexive pronoun we call it reflexive pronoun but when the reflexive pronoun will take place after the subject we call it emphatic pronoun look at it emphatic pronoun that is he himself did it yes the reflexive pronoun will be used as emphatic pronoun the reflexive pronoun will be used as the emphatic pronoun when it will take place after the subject of uh, after the subject of a sentence right so when personal pronoun will take self or selves after it that means himself herself themselves myself yourself ourselves all of them are called reflexive pronoun but when that reflexive pronoun will take place after the subject in a sentence we call it emphatic pronoun we call it emphatic pronoun 
So it is too much easy and simple for all of you to understand it. That uh, it is very easy and simple to understand that when personal pronoun will take self or sales after it, we call it reflexive pronoun. But when that reflexive pronoun will take place after the subject, after the subject of a sentence, we call it emphatic pronoun because it creates or the pressure or it press the action of that subject strongly and forcefully. So we call it emphatic pronoun. My dear viewers, uh, we are going to the last and that is reciprocal pronoun. That is reciprocal pronoun. <clears throat> we have already discussed about uh, a lot of uh, things about the uh, function of pronoun and now we are going to discuss about reciprocal pronoun reciprocal pronoun you know it very well reciprocate that means which will create the understanding among the groups between two person which will relate the action between two person or among the groups we call it reciprocal pronoun look at it the two boys help each other. Yes, my dear viewers, each other, one another, each other, one another, all of them are called reciprocal pronoun because they reciprocate to create a situation which creates the relation, which creates the oneness of work between two person, two groups or among uh, some persons or among some groups. So my dear viewers, now we can uh, easily understand that when uh, we use the pronoun, we have to think about that uh, noun is used as the subject and object of a sentence. In the same way, uh, pronoun also used as the uh, subject and object in a sentence also. Pronoun and it is object. So now we can easily understand that she finished she finished her work successfully she finished her work successfully look at it please uh, I have not mentioned the name of that person, but uh, it indicates a person. Okay, so it is pronoun. It is pronoun but subject. It is pronoun but subject in a sentence. So uh, I knew. I knew her. I knew her. So now it is subject. I. Uh, I have not mentioned the name of Abdul Salam, but uh, I said I. That means it indicates Abdul Salam. So it is subject and her it is object i have not mentioned the name of that lady but i have uh, mentioned that person so now you can easily understand one thing that is clear to you that a pronoun is used as the subject of a sentence uh, a pronoun is used as the object of a sentence am i right and a pronoun is used as the object of preposition look at it it is kind of you it is kind of you to help me to help me now look at it of you you pronoun and what kind of pronoun it is it is the pronoun of uh, it is the object of preposition of it is the object of preposition of so now it we can easily understand about the uh, function of noun in a sentence and the function of pronoun in a sentence uh, we can use pronoun uh, in the same place uh, in the same way as we use noun in a sentence. So, my dear viewers, uh, we have already discussed about pronoun uh, as much as uh, we feel to discuss about it. So, I hope all of you have understood about it nicely and carefully and you can easily use pronoun in a sentence and you can easily uh, create new sentences with the use of pronoun am i right so thank you all and be happy all the time and just follow my channel and follow my action to uh, go forward with me i would like to help you all the time please uh, share my 
channel and subscribe it thank you all assalamu alaikum